guys, Basecliff here. I want to show you a uh, demo of a plugin, I, Ableton plugin I've made. Um, it's come in so handy for me. Um, this one is a lifesaver, especially when you're working on a laptop a lot. So this uh, is the send insert. What it lets you do is run any plugin you want as a send, but as an insert. Okay, why would you want to do this? Okay. Um, when you start running a lot of sends and returns in Ableton uh, and a lot of reverbs and things that use a lot of power, you, you probably find your computer starts to slow down and it might even crash. It has a lot of trouble running these plugins. Um, there's a great option in Ableton where you can freeze your tracks to save power, but you can't freeze sends and returns. So I made this so that I could freeze my sends and returns. Here we go. So I've got it on this little vocal thing here. And you can hear this little vocal snippet, normal, normal, but that one there, I'm sending to a delay. If I open this up here, you can see it's going to this uh, ping pong delay here. The other ones are staying completely clean. Um, so it means I can then take that whole track and I can freeze it. And I could have say, I just used a ping pong for the sake of it. But you could put anything there. You could put like a really processor intensive reverb or some other crazy plugin that you've got that uses heaps of power. Um, and then afterwards you can freeze it and you're done. So this lets me get away with running really high quality reverbs on all my tracks. Um, and then I can um, just freeze them and keep working on my laptop when I'm on the road. So, so handy. It means um, I never run into these crash issues. Um, you might be wondering why don't you just put the, the reverb on and rather do it with the send. Um, so there's a difference if I just had this reverb here on all the time, or this, this um, delay. You see, as soon as I bring it up, the dry and the wet, it's affecting everything. I can't isolate that one knob, really. Like, it would spill into everything. Uh, and even if I did, like, automate it, say, like, just on this one here, it'll cut off on that next note just here because I've got to turn it down to make that one dry. So if I bring this back to where it was, see the way I got it here, I can have this one sending the audio to the delay and it'll echo and go past these other ones. Um, so there's circumstances where you'd want to do this, like, say, on a vocal and it's the um, the last word of the singer's phrase and you want a, an, an echo to come off that last word and fill in the gap but until he sings again. Uh, you don't want to echo everything, just that last word. Things like that. So that's why you'd use a send rather than um, an insert. And this lets you use a send as an insert. So that's Basecliff send insert and you can get it on basecliff.com. <laughs>